Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Madhadi. Another great video with Abu Prai Jain, who is our senior survey with Lloyds. And today's video is about no disadvantages of being a surveyor. Disadvantages are rather a very uh, strong word. But what I would say is, ki when you compare it to the merchant maybe thing, ki where do you think a survey jobs lacks? Or where merchant navy has a slight upper head? Chaliye jante hain. Please go ahead, sir. Sure. Thank you, Pranit. I believe uh, that uh, you know uh, we we shouldn't we can't compare the salaries what we get on board to what we get ashore. However, you know if you do really good, then you can expect to earn a lot of money ashore as well. So that's a one disadvantage I would say that uh, by following the normal hierarchy, it's very achievable to earn a good amount of money on board, but it's not so ashore, especially when it comes to surveying. Um, secondly, I would say that uh, it's a continuous learning process. You know, we have to be up to date with the rules and requirements, and that can take some time off from your personal personal time if if it has to be. But you have to be updated as a surveyor since you are expected to, and uh, since you are a uh, you know face of a company who is a class surveyor and who's you know, <laughs> basically practicing what, what he's preaching. Yes. So that comes into picture. And lastly, I would say it's, it, it is quite a challenging job. A surveyor's job is not as easy as people might think. Um, a surveyor has to go inside the ballast tanks in, you know, harsh temperatures, in harsh humidity, in climatic conditions, and the cargo tanks and the ship's bottom, and it takes a toll on a surveyor's life uh, because these tasks are quite important, tedious, and uh, it takes time. Once again, guys, see, just to add one thing from my end, ki this video is not about comparing two fields. It is to make sure that somebody when who's, who wants to become a surveyor, he should have the right thought process, ki why he is doing that. So when we were talking about the earlier video about advantages, so you got to know ki what you can expect expect as a surveyor, what you'll get. When it comes to disadvantages, so if you are a sailing chief engineer, if you want to become a surveyor and if you feel you will get the same salary, no, you'll expect you'll come down and then again, maybe you'll start rising, but it'll take some time. Second thing is as a That's chief right. engineer, as a captain, you have got, now you are in your comfort zone. You know what to do, what not to do. It's a, this horizon. Maybe not every day, but every one month or two months, there'll be some challenge coming. But in a surveyor's life, each day I am I is coming with new regulation. Every other day, some MSC circular is coming. So out here, you have to keep yourself updated. So if and all you think reading is not your forte or learning is not your forte, or you feel no, this is not up for me, then maybe survey job is not made for you. Last but not the least, yes, there is a work-life balance, but when you are on ship, there's a particular timeline that you have to follow. And in that, doing all the ballast tanks, maybe cargo tanks going up and down, then in engine room, doing all the inspections. It is not easy. I've seen many surveys sweating, panting, but then completing the work on time. So hats off to all the surveys out there in the world who are doing such a fabulous job. And uh, respect mm -hmm. coming with this video. To be very honest, when I was on ship sailing, whenever a survey is to come, I, I used to always have this idea. Now it's come to find out flaws. <laughs> See, later on in life, we realize that the idea is not to find flaws, but to make sure that the system becomes redundant and becomes good. So, uh, thank you very much, Abhipraya, and to all your colleagues and to all the people of the fraternity who are doing such a fabulous job. Thank you very much.